Important settings that you must get right to start with when you're setting up DaVinci Resolve have to do with the cache files and with the database and where that's located. Now, if you're on your own personal computer, uh, when you fire up and install DaVinci, it takes care of all of this for you. It's when you move your, your, uh, your, your projects and your database on something like a hard drive, a uh, portable drive, from computer to computer. Let's say you're working at home and you have to go to a student computer lab or maybe your computer at the office. This is where things can kind of get disconnected. And we're gonna go through that setup. Now, if these aren't set up properly, then there are some functions and tools within DaVinci that won't work properly. One of them is the waveform, uh, displaying the waveforms. Uh, and this becomes particularly irritating when you're trying to sync up um, a double system sound where we see the slate clap and then you're going to try to link up the audio file that was recorded. It's really hard to do if you can't see that spike in the waveform. All right. So what do we need? We need to have DaVinci Resolve on the computer you're going to work on with the hard drive, your portable drive, uh, that you're going to move from place to place, both connected and DaVinci Resolve started up. That's all you're going to need to do to start this tutorial. Now we're going to spend a couple of minutes going over this setup and we're going to show you some setups that a lot of people don't talk about and then we're going to spend a few minutes troubleshooting in case you get into a, a, a place or a position where you're trying to work on a computer when things don't seem to work right you'll be able to troubleshoot your way out of it. In the Projects Manager window, you can open the Database tool by clicking on this icon above the listed projects. If your hard drive was connected when you boot it up, DaVinci will look at all the attached drives and attempt to find the database containing your projects. It might not find them if they're not in locations it understands. You might have to load or restore a database. Simply put, you're telling the program where the database resides. A tip I can give you that will help you later is to be consistent as to where you set up your databases and cache file locations on your external drives. On the drives that travel with me, I typically create a folder at the root level of the hard drive, a folder named DaVinci. Inside that folder, Resolve will build the folders for the database, cache, and render files. You do not need to create this folder before you launch Resolve. Let's start by creating a new database on an external portable drive. In the lower part of the database display window, click on New Database. You might have seen this window before if you followed one of the earlier Resolve tutorials. Now, it doesn't hurt to review this process. It is critical to get it right. Select Create at the top of the window. And now select disk for the database type. The PostGRE SQL setting is for those who want to set up shared databases located on a PostGRE SQL server. This is a very handy setup if you're in a work group setting where several people need to access the project to do their work. Now just a, an important point here, all users will need to have the full studio version of DaVinci to make this shared work group on the PostGRE SQL server work. With the disk selected, click in the name field. Type in the name of your database. Now it has to be all lowercase, but it can have an underscore to separate words. Now I'm going to enter DIT underscore course. Clicking in the Location field will open up the typical file navigation tools. You'll want to navigate to the folder DaVinci that you created on your portable drive. If you didn't create the DaVinci folder previously, use the New Folder button to create this folder. Click on Open. DaVinci is now pointed to the folder. Clicking on Add will create the database inside that DaVinci folder and add it to the list of databases. Now looking inside that DaVinci folder on the external drive, we see the program created the folders needed to organize the database 
and the user files. The next settings that we need to work with are the ones that we've spoken about just a little bit earlier, the cache and the render files. These folders are particularly important for a number of functions within DaVinci Resolve. And when they're not pointed to a place where DaVinci Resolve can read and write to, and, and think of a, a computer lab environment at a school or university, um, IT departments tend to lock down certain areas on the computer uh, because they don't want them read or written to. Uh, if DaVinci can't do that, then you end up with problems. We talked about the waveforms not showing up when you're trying to do audio syncing. Well, another issue you're going to have is when you're in the color room and you're trying to compare two uh, clips side by side. And this is a really powerful part of the color tools for matching color clips. But if one side is black and you can't get that second image to show up, then that cache and render file settings are what are causing this problem. And we, we definitely want to fix that. Now, the render files do something else that DaVinci is a real powerhouse at, and that is rendering or pre-rendering. It will look at your system if it sees that it's underpowered, whether it's a GPU or a CPU problem, or the files are very big, 4K, 8K files, um, high data rate files, big color bit depth files that are really hard to handle for a lot of computers. DaVinci, whenever there's any free time, will look ahead and start pre-rendering those files for you so you have a very good user experience on playback. Now, if it can't write those pre-rendered files someplace, then you're going to play back with drop frames and have just a really awful user experience. Both of these, the cache files and the render files, can go into this DaVinci folder on your portable hard drive. To get to these settings, drop down the DaVinci menu and select Preferences, but you can't do it until you open a project. So double click on the basic untitled project. You might get three error warning windows. Now this is common when working in a classroom.